Hey, what's up dingoes? This is Juan Dingo and I'm here with the startup tutorial with Ares and this is a new series I'm going to be starting in Injustice and then going into Mortal Kombat X and so I've been doing combo tutorials for a while but I want to start teaching you guys some startups because it's it's so important to know your character's startup options that way when they say begin or fight you're not kind of just like fumbling on what to do and how to start it up and once once you have your character's startup options kind of down to a science you can then go on to learning other character startups and kind of um, you know finding what works against certain characters so knowing a character's startup options uh, is gonna benefit you big time but also you want to learn other characters startups so you can kind of see how they relate to your characters so I picked Ares first just because I think he has a really good startup game as an Ares player I think he probably has some of the best startup options with his like the first one is his straight axe which is back four which he pulls out his axe and the uh, startup frames are like really high so it is interruptible like if you know even Batman his um, his Ford 2 his headbutt is I think 15 frames and this is 16 and it's pretty easy for Batman to interrupt his axe with his uh, Ford 2 headbutt and then there's uh, but a lot of Batmans will try to jump in on you so if anyone if they try to jump forward neutral or back they're gonna get hit by the axe and uh, knockdowns especially off of startup are really important for Ares because you can rush and go into his spacing so if you hit him with that axe and knock him down just kinda like go into your spacing and then his second one is his sliding strike which is back one this is this is a lot better on startup frames than the axe and it hits him like from standing it just comes across and hits him you can go into a full combo see like he guessed wrong and look at his life bar now the thing is is as quick as this is and uh, it goes into a combo like it's there's not a lot of people that are just gonna kind of stand there right on startup there are some characters that try to do a special move um, if a character tries to do a special move right on startup this is pretty much gonna like um, it's gonna interrupt it and then you can go into whatever you want from there um, his third one is his jump one as you can see it has a lot of forward range so it has a lot of forward range so you can basically if say if a Batman player want to start up with a jump forward and try to get a jump in Ares can actually if timed right he can jump back and punish it just like that so if he's gonna jump forward and you see that um, yeah you're gonna punish his okay so his fourth option is his crowning elbow which is his two in the air this is mostly gonna work for um, if you're doing a set with someone and you, they've tried to jump in and you've thrown the axe out this is when it gets more into mind games after you're like probably th at least three games in to a set and they're wondering like okay I can't jump because he has that option which is gonna give uh, him a free knockdown so if you jump in with a crowning elbow even if they block Ares has a lot of like even on block jumping on block like he could do this which is an overhead to low um, which is a really good option which brings us to the last one which is the warp transmission behind and that's gonna teleport behind him see if if uh, someone is expecting kind of this too they're gonna try to walk they're gonna try to block because they know that you can even if they block that you can still go into a low and basically get the full combo so a lot of characters what I've learned playing with Ares is they'll start just walking backwards so what you can do if you know that they're gonna do that you can right on startup just teleport behind them and then go into a combo 
So that's his fifth and final option that I like to use. He has other ones, but these are kind of the ones that I've found that are proven. Um, and by using, once I started f like focus on learning his, uh, his startups, um, you do a lot better because it re it's really important to get that first bar of meter to kind of get your momentum going and uh, keep that throughout the match. So that's about it for Aries. But like I was saying before, I'm going to start doing this series. And just because you don't play with a character doesn't mean you shouldn't watch kind of the other character's tutorial on his startups because you really want to know what your opponent uh, their options are too because some some characters like I think Wonder Woman even if I throw out my axe if she jumps backward and then does an air dash forward she can most of the time she, like she goes over my axe and stuff like that and his back one I thought was just godlike when I first started against Batman and then I started facing a really good Batman who was doing his 4-2 headbutt, which is only one frame uh, faster than that, and he was just getting me every time. So he pretty much kind of bullied me into not being able to use that. And then I jumped back to trying to do that, and then I noticed he was just walking backwards, so that's when I started just teleporting behind him and doing that because that's... Especially, it's just like really hard for your opponent because his options are so good. They're like, they don't know what to, they don't know what to do. So yeah, guys, that's all I have for now. Let me know in the comment section, like who you want me to do next and what you guys think about this series. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you get updates on all my latest videos. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.